If Prosper Learning Trust will really support the staff um, to um, progress, we believe that the staff within each of our schools have got the ability to, um, to move on in their careers. And what we want to do is we want to support them in order to, whether it's within our trust or whether it's external within other schools, we really want them to, um, to progress in their career. I feel like there is a lot of examples within the trust of um, people who have moved from um, from teaching assistants up to um, up to head teachers. Some in some instances. So there is a massive range of um, people within the trust who who have shown massive pre career progression, and that's due to the supportive element of the schools themselves, with the senior leaders within the schools, and the belief and um, trust in them to actually to to perform the best that they can be within their roles. I think Prosper really develop and they really invest in every single member of staff that comes to join the trust. Um, I think they, they, there's loads of opportunities, not just within each individual school, but within the other trust schools as well. Um, I, obviously, I started at Newcastle Bridges um, before Harry Watts had even opened, before it was even known that it was going to be a school. It's an amazing opportunity. Um, it's a growing trust. Um, it's a really supportive trust that really looks at the individual um, and actually how that individual can progress rather than just being a number. We have a genuine commitment to developing our staff and that's not that's not trying to get you know on a high horse about it i think it just makes good sense it's important that everybody is um, as skilled as they can be in their roles so i think we have a genuine commitment to it um, i also think it forms part of kind of sharing the identity and the direction of the trust with all the staff so that they feel we've done we've done quite a lot of work on vision and values. We've tried to be genuine about that, tried to involve people in it and actually just give people a sense of what the trust is about and where it's going. And I think that really does help in terms of buy-in and people feeling like what they do is important. The whole of SLT, to be fair, is really supportive. They really give you that progression and if you want professional development they'll always give you that little bit of encouragement and they give you ways and means so the, the National College where with Prosper Learning Trust so they've been given with that, that so I've been doing a lot of courses on that just to just to see different ways of progressing my own professional development. That We've had asthma training, we've had epilepsy training, allergy training and ministering med medication it's, we also have access to the National College um, where there's various CPDs that you can access at your leisure. I recently did a more in-depth one on epilepsy. We get weekly refreshers on safeguarding and the important things that go alongside the policies and procedures but then you also get the opportunity to follow your interests. Each staff member always has a different interest so through the different opportunities especially now with National College we are getting them opportunities to consistently develop. We also have kind of more personalised and bespoke training so if any of our staff team have something specific that they feel they would like to learn about and if it's in line with our school development plan and we think it will benefit the children then we will uh, look at that and see whether we can uh, allow them opportunities to do that so I think it's really important uh, to recognise the strengths of our staff team and uh, share that as well. I feel like everybody's friendly and approachable and they've always wanted the best for me and even identified it before I've identified it myself. When I came across as a learning support assistant, I probably thought my management days were done and I was now time, that was my position. And straight away when the opportunity for apprenticeship came up, said, you know, we would like you to consider it. Um, so they identified a strength in me, which then you feel valued and recognised. It was at the end of my first year that the opportunity to apply for the higher learning support assistant vacancy came up. I made the application and was successful in the post, so I've been in that post since. It's an amazing job. It gives me the opportunity to work with all the children on the pathway and I think that's quite a unique perspective that I've got and I feel very lucky to have that job. I get to support all the children and to see such fabulous progression among all the classrooms. They're just an amazing bunch of kids. I just think it's an amazing place to work and the support that you get. I've always been supported in anything that I've wanted to do. I've always been able to, to, to sort of progress and I think it's just because it's a great team who I work with. Um, not just the SLT, the whole the staff as well, my work colleagues. Um, they're not just friends, they're like family as well. 